Yeah, look, it was a, obviously it was a great, great win at the weekend against Cavan. Um, it was a huge challenge that we, that we had at our, our hands and look, just thankful that we got over the line and uh, looking forward to an all-iron final now. Yeah, I think that comes with just the, the territory, obviously, with, with Dublin GAA, particularly over the last number of years and particularly months, it's been a topic of debate. But look, I suppose we're just very focused on our job in hand and, you know, looking forward to, obviously, another All-Ireland final against Mayo, a team which we've had great battles with over the last number of years. Um, I know. Look, I think we have to respect e each and every opposition that we that you play against. And you know, as I said, we've had terrific rivalries and and games with with Mayo over the last number of years. And uh, look, it's just another game that we're really looking forward to. It's an All Ireland final and the week before Christmas. So what's not to look forward to? Last year obviously was a unique year in terms of being the first team to obviously to, to achieve um, five in a row as part of the history. But you know we're very much focused on this year in particular, and we're, we're not looking at you know years gone by. And there's obviously new guys on a panel now as well. So for them, it's it's like they're they're, they're very first. So that's how we're treating it. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to getting to the pitch on the nineteenth. Um, look, I think you know it's part and parcel of you know teams that are winning and you know competing at a high level. So uh, you know everyone's entitled to their opinion, and you know, we're looking forward to playing football. Look, I think one of the big things is that you know we're probably all best friends, and we've a unique bond together that we've built up over the last number of years f from winning, and um, particularly winning close games. And I think that's something that certainly stood to us in, in good stead. And you know. As I said, we're all best friends of one another. We, we we've socialised together and been to weddings together. So it's uh, you know it's it's certainly a massive part of our uh, success. Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose look, we we've obviously got a great strength and conditioning team there. Who obviously, look after us to the best of their ability and have us peaking at the right times for for each game that that we play. And you know, everyone is diligent in what they do off the pitch as well in terms of recovery. So that that just enhances your fitness levels and, and makes sure that you're ready for for game day. Yeah, look, I think an all Ireland final with no crowd is obviously it's it's, it's novel and it's, it's unique, but. So as we've been quite used to playing in front of no crowds this year, uh, particularly here in Parnell Park with no clubs during the club championship and then obviously in Croke Park. So it is strange, but I'm sure we'll um, have lots of support from people sitting at home on their, on their sofas. Yeah, look, the very best luck to the ladies on the, the 20th. Um, they've obviously got their own All-Iron final and you know, all their focus will be on that. And you know, I think they're going for four in a row, so just the very best luck to them.